Hello guys, welcome to this second lecture in topology. I am Theophile Kemadjou, a mathematician. Before we start, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe into my YouTube channel. We are going to learn more about mathematics. In today's lecture, we are going to define a topology on a set and a topological space. Let's first start by a topology on a set. As motivation, suppose that we wish to formalize the notion of convergence, limits, neighborhood, as well as the notion of continuity of an application, okay, in terms of the set that we draw on the picture like this. The question is what structure we need, do we need an X? As you can see, a set is not enough to talk about continuity convergence. A set does not have enough structure to say if a curve, an application is continuous or not. You can imagine all kinds of structures on the set which allows you to talk about continuity convergence. But we are interested in the weakest structure that can, that can be established on the set, which allow us to give a good definition of continuity of maps, convergence of sequences. And mathematicians know that the weakest structure that can be established is the so-called a topology of a set. Now, we suppose that you have a good knowledge of what metric space is in mathematics. Hence, you can use it as a starting point in order to find the weakest structure. In fact, a lot of notions we have in topology are already formulated in metric space. As we call a metric space is just a couple x, z, where x is a set and z is a distance function. That means when we have a set x, we can measure the distance between two points, let's say a and b, as you can see here in this picture. Using this distance function, we construct the so-called open balls, B of A epsilon, as you can see also in this picture. And, and we can construct many, many open balls in this way. Using this open balls, we can say if a subset of a metric space is open or not, we know a subset of metric space is open if it contains okay, an open ball around each of its points. Hence, the notion of open of a subset depends on the chosen metric D, depends on the chosen distance D. Thus, we can check easily that in metric space the notion of convergence and continuity can be defined from the notion of open and we can show also that the collection okay or the or the family t of all 
subset of all open subset of a matrix space satisfy the following nice properties the empty sets and x itself belong to t the intersection of two open sets of t belongs in t an arbitrary union finite or infinite members of t belongs to t with such properties in mind we see for a lot of things we don't need an explicit measure of distance just some neighborhood relation between points might be sufficient also as soon as a set x okay is endo with a family t of subset which satisfy the above three properties it is possible to talk about convergence of a sequence it is possible to talk about continuity of an application but we need to be more precise definition let x be a set and p of x the power set of x the set containing all subset of x a topology t on x is a subset of p of x is a collection of all subset of p of x and these subsets have to be open must be open therefore fulfills satisfies all the rules as we have in matrix space so we require that the empty sets okay and x itself belong to our collection so belong to t any the intersection of a final members okay of t belongs to t the last property any arbitrary union final or infinite of members of t belongs to t as you can see here in this definition we don't mention the distance anymore so this is just generalization of the three properties we have in matrix space now the question is can we have an example of the topology yes of course the first one is any matrix space is a topological space now let that s be the set just consists of the points one two and three and we choose t1 as you can see here in this picture t1 is a topology on x in fact the empty set lies in t1 x itself lies in t1 and you can show not difficult that t1 satisfies the remaining properties so t1 is a topology on s let's also choose t2 as you can see here t, t2 is not a topology on x because the set with element one union the set with element two gives the set with element one and two and this step does not belong to c2 so c2 is not a topology on x now there are two important topology that we can establish on any set okay the first one is a so-called trivial topology let's say 
as you can see here, T trivial. It's in fact it just consists of the empty sets and X itself. It's the smallest topology that we can have in any set. There is a second one, okay, called the discrete topology. As you can see here, T discrete. It's the biggest, okay, it's the biggest topology. It's in fact the power set of S. It's a topology containing all the subset of X. So, this uh, brings me to the end of this uh, second lecture on topology. And uh, that was what I want to share with you today. See you on next time. Please, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care of you. Bye-bye.